The main ranch house has five bedrooms and six baths, each with a veranda. There are two outdoor kitchens, a 500-bottle wine room and a freshwater grotto. A historic hill lodge was built in 1910 and has three three bedrooms and 2.5 baths with views of the entire ranch. There's a 1,700 square foot foreman's house and an events pavilion overlooking a lake. Several barns and outbuildings are also on the ranch. The Hill Country Ranch is the latest in a series of recent rural Texas property sales by Dallas based Icon Global Group. A bunch of these family-owned ranches have decided to sell, said Icon Global's Bernard Uoptritz. Last year, Icon Global sold the Moody family's 15,000-acre Rio Benito Ranch in nearby Kerrville. The property was purchased by an affiliate of J.L. Barkimble County Properties Limited. Of San Angelo, the new owners also operate the nearby 13,000-acre J.L. Bar Ranch. Icon Global is associated with Dallas Briggs Freeman Sotheby's International. It's not just the huge Texas spreads that are changing hands. The Texas Association of Realtors says small ranch and land sales in the state topped $1 billion in volume last year. Texas's small land sales volume rose 8.5% in 2017, the fifth straight increase the last year was the first time annual sales volumes of these properties topped $1 billion, according to the Texas Association of Realtors. In recent years, small land sales have been a strong indicator of a healthy overall real estate market, said Kaki Libert, chairman of the association. With land sales increasing and price per acre declining slightly, we're seeing a solid market for small land purchases for a wide range of uses, including recreation, residential, investment, commercial development and farmland. Northeast Texas saw the largest increase in prices for these types of properties, with average sales price per acre up 5% from 2016. Land is a hot commodity in Texas, and we continue to see the market for acreage almost as competitive as the residential housing market, Libert said. population growth continues, we expect to see the demand for rural land continue to increase.